say, but uh, how, how do you stay? I mean, here's, here's Billy and I. We both want to know, how do you stay so fit? I'm fish. not fit. Of course you are. I am absolutely well, not. Look at you. You're no. immortal. <laughs> how, how, how do you do it? But what is your exercise program? What I do don't do it? anything. You don't? No, certainly not. Certainly not. You wouldn't catch me doing any of these. Anything. You do. You, you go up and down the Grand Canyon and all that stuff. Uh, well, yes, but I mean, I also walk to the station. But, but I mean, I don't sort of jog. <laughs> I don't jog or anything or do anything extreme. You don't even do that? No. Some of us are fighting, fighting our weight all the time, you know. I well, mean, I'm fighting my weight in the uh, sense that I know that I'm fatter than I should be. I, I do 30 sit-ups. I mean, the, do you? <laughs> Every week. I'm reducing from sort of eight bars of chocolate tonight to mm. six, you know. That's yeah, I, I think you're just lucky. What about you, Billy? I say cool. I go out on my bike. It's a thing. It's a strange thing. I. It was one of the indulgences of of my adult life. When I was uh, in my early teens, I fancied being a racing cyclist, and I had a real shabby bike. And uh, I didn't make it because I wasn't good enough, basically. But I. I was always out there on on my bike, and I thought if I ever make a lot of money, I'm going to buy a real cracker. And. A couple of years ago, I did. I bought a real beauty, and I've renewed it ever since, and I, I have got this great joy in cycling now. I like to go fishing, but cycling is where I get going round Richmond Park there in my gear. I'm a fancy. I've got all the gear, you see, a real <laughs> poser cyclist, you know, all these <laughs> French words that could be swearing for all I know. <laughs> Zapping round Richmond Park, there's deer. Look at me like that. <laughs> deer have got a great sort of upper class way of looking at you. Yeah. Know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're obviously saying, well, why doesn't this guy eat trees? Like Where's he going? Does he know what a tasty trees are? <laughs> the question is, how do you cope with wealth and fame? <laughs> Who are they? I have never been wealthy, ever. I, I am reasonably... If you're skint, I'm wealthier than you. <laughs> right. But I'm not a wealthy... Wealth and fame is a severe pain, actually. You know, the, the assumption of wealth, that people think, God, you must be worth a million, you, and they spit in your car. It's... it's <laughs> they do, they do, they spit in your car. You know, yeah. <laughs> You get a weird, you get a weird view of the world. You know, every people say your name, they go. <laughs> pass, and some of them go. <laughs> In some cultures, it's a mark of respect. No, <laughs> 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 oh, who was it? Roy Hanlon. He's a Scottish actor. Told me Roy Hanlon. He he came off a train. This might interest you. The body thing. The. He, he came off a train at Glasgow Central Station and he was feeling good to be back in Glasgow. He got off onto the platform and he was walking down. You know that feeling you get in your hometown? It just feels good. He's coming down the platform and a guy was walking towards him, went like that, and Roy went like that, and the fellow went... What? <laughs> 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 was... What was the first? What was the first thing you bought with any real money you ever earned? What was your first car? Thought? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful. And I didn't have a license. <laughs> I bought a Citroen Safari. You know the one that looked like a shark, the pointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was a bronze one, and I didn't have a license, so I wasn't allowed to drive it. So I used to go outside and sit in it and do. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the radio. Did you have a jag at one stage? I have. I've, I've had a few jags, and I did like them. And uh, I now have a Range Rover. Mm. It's terribly... It's, I don't know what it is about. I bought it for the tour, and I can't give it back now. I was going to sell it, but I kind of like being up high. Mm. In the, the, I, I've got no passion for cars. I'm not a car person, you know. There's no car that I've ever always wanted. I had a Rolls Royce once, not a minor. I borrowed it for a week from my manager, actually. And, uh, <laughs> and I was driving around in it, and it was OK for a minute or two, but people don't like them. Yeah. You know, other people. Yeah. But, and people are disappointed when they see me in it. Yeah. You go, oh, oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in that thing? <laughs> like, 
it's probably the best car in the world. You know, where's your street cred, Bob and Groovy? <laughs> oh, I borrowed it. You know, you'd start apologising. Oh, I'm sorry. The people on Zebra Crossings, excuse me, I just borrowed this. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw you giving me a funny look there. You went... <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's odd, isn't it? And I've never wanted a low one. I've got a, an E-type Jaguar once, a red one. And uh, I saw it in the garage. It was one of the boldest things I ever did. I was in an ice car. I was in a, a, a golf, a, one of those wee open-top golf, and I swapped it straight for this one. I said, can I have that car? They said, yeah. And on the Monday I had it, it was mine, I owned it, and it was an E-type, a red soft top. And it's got one terrible failing, when you go above 60, you can't hear the radio. <laughs> you know, and I like all that gardener's question time. <laughs> right, and you go above 60, you can't hear a damn thing, you put it up and blade it. And then, but people in sort of allegros, with purple faces, going... <laughs> <laughs> you do 60, you know, trundling along, and this thing comes rattling. Around. Come on! And they've got names, they, they've, they've always got names, these cars. Come on, Angus, you can do it! <laughs> bits falling off. Come on, my beauty! <laughs> you can beat this bastard! <laughs> He's a break. He's a... Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> my boy, steam smoke, you know, <laughs> cracked it. You, it's funny, they bring out weird things, don't they, in people, these cars? It's like sunshine coaches. I've, I've never seen one with anybody in it. <laughs> There's always somebody going somewhere. Oh, he must be going to get somebody to put in it. You know, it's just, it's just one of these odd things at the transport, but I, I just, I, I get them on whims cars. I'm not a great car person. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those A to B people, you know. Mm -hmm. As long as it gets me from A to B. <laughs> I do quite enjoy them, but I'm not a, a buff, you know. Mm -hmm. I should get a straight Land Rover, you know, the black and white. I don't have a car at all. You, you don't? Do. Have you got any status symbols at all? You must, you must have, uh... What's a delicate way of putting it? Those books have done very well, haven't they? Like, haven't they? <laughs> so, so what do you do with all the bread? Right? <laughs> it's carried around. It's a danger. By and large, we rep I mean, what, what we did was actually repair the house that we lived in yeah. for a long time, which was had a leaking roof, and we sort of sorted that out. The way things are arranged, you really can't get rich from book royalties, can you? The government takes its... Uh, you pay your tax. That's right. Yeah, mm. you really... I don't want us to burst no, into tears. I was going to say, we could, we could go behind and sob together quietly. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait a minute. I've worked this out. I'm the one who gets all the letters now for the Inland Revenue. You've both claimed poverty. I'm the, I'm the rich and famous one. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. No, I heard you're digging the ditch. Yeah. People do tend to think if you've had a best-selling book, then suddenly you've got enough money to retire, and it's just not so. Do you know what gets me sometimes? The pools win. Do you remember a pools win used to be £75,000? Yeah. Yeah. And those people said, well, that's me. I've retired. Yeah. Never work again. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder. But you must go, you must go balmy, mustn't you? I mean, if you're sort of winning the pools when you're, say, 35 or something, if you didn't do anything, you'd have to do something, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, you go on writing your books, you go on doing these... Oh. What, television what? programs, although we all know you're a multimillionaire yeah, yeah. and don't need <laughs> But you do it because you like meeting all these interesting people. Well, Wogan goes on working. There's a lot more that we can say, and maybe we can ad adjourn to the bar and say some of that. <laughs> but we run out of actual airtime, so for now, I reluctantly, I have to say thank you very much, Billy Connolly. Thank you. David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> like being in studio with a whirlwind. <laughs>